Hello everyone, welcome back to Luke's Anime Talk, where I go over some of the most recent anime I've been watching. And for this video, I'll be looking at Code Geass, Lelouch of the Rebellion Initiation, which is the first of the three movies. So it follows the same story as the anime, just with a few new and altered scenes to fit the story which is condensed into the two hour runtime. So basically, I think they must cut at least 15 episodes into these like two hours, and they take the, obviously the most important battles and plot points and... There's one section where they condense a lot of stuff, so it kind of is it's a compilation movie. You want to think of it, it like that. So let's go over some of the plot. While on the way to class, Lelouch checks on a crashed truck but falls inside. It's being driven by a terrorist organisation. After it crashes again in the sewers, Lelouch is confronted by an old friend, Suzaku, who is now a soldier. The supposed terrorists open the bomb, but a woman is inside. When Lelouch and this girl are trapped by the soldiers, she offers him powers. He accepts and gains the ability to mind control, making the soldiers kill themselves. This is basically the main power, the Gios, or the Gios of the series. And it's in Lelouch's uh, left eye, and it's like a little bird shape. And obviously, we learn about it more throughout the series and these movies. And they're going to go into more depth, especially because uh, CC, the green-haired girl, has that same shape on her forehead. And obviously... There's a lot of mystery and stuff to get revealed about that as well. With his keen intellect, Lelouch commands a terrorist group from the shadows to some success, and to Suzaku appears in a new mech, the terrorist group will run. Using his gears, Lelouch makes his way to his brother, Clovis, who's coordinating the attack, and he kills him. So basically, Lelouch is a... He's basically a banished prince, and Clovis is, I think, the third oldest brother, they said. And he's like more in line to the throne. And Lelouch is like, I'm going to destroy Britannia. And Clovis is the first step in that direction. So he, you don't actually see him kill him, but it's pretty much implied he kills him. And then obviously later on it's confirmed that he's been killed. Lelouch contacts the group to form an alliance under him. The first task is to free Suzaku, who is framed for killing Prince Clovis. Even though they've got like no proof at all. Obviously because Suzaku is a uh, 11 or Japanese citizen. Uh, who was given the title of honor honorary Britannian? They obviously blame him before any official Britannians, so he's like their scapegoat in this situation. But Lelouch is not having any of that. Lelouch, as his persona Zero, takes the blame and frees Suzaku. He basically does this in a, ve a very public display of power and showboating, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm in control of this situation. I've got this bomb on the back of my truck, and you are not gonna." battle with me at all because I will kill everyone basically even though he's completely bluffing a lot of cutting and mixing of the scenes and events happens next so there's a lot of the stuff that happens at the school that they don't talk about like they cut that completely there's a lot of stuff to do with the setup of the the group uh, set, like sorting them out with equipment and getting connections and stuff they kind of like mix together and they speed through and also CC appears and joins the loose that's kind of part of this section where she just appears after a while and they've kind of gotten closer where in the anime it takes them a, an episode or two just to gain trust of each other where in this it's like oh yeah they're good, they're good friends now which I understand because obviously it's a two hour film so the pacing's got to be there so obviously they make it a bit more streamlined them getting to know each other. The Lucian and the Black Knights attack the Britannian forces after they attack the Japanese Liberation Front but have to retreat after Suzaku appears in his mech again. As they gain more support and success, the remaining JLF go to Lelouch to help free their commander. And during the mission, Lelouch finds out Suzaku is the mech user. While he wanted Suzaku to care for his sister, Nunnally, he will not let him stand in his way. So basically, this is the big twist for Lelouch because he just assumed that the person in the mech was some generic soldier. But no, he's his, basically his best friend and childhood friend. And he wanted him to be there for Nunnally. But now he's basically his main roadblock because... The mech he's been using is the one thing that's been getting in his way and ruining plans and destroying all of their mechs. And he's he's basically the main enemy for Lelouch now. And he's completely conflicted about, well, I wanted him to look after Nunnally, but now he's basically the main enemy. He's he's the obstacle that he has to overcome. And he, even when CC says, oh, you have to take him down, Lelouch does not want to do it. But he knows he has to, otherwise his plans for the destruction of the Britannian Empire will not happen. So he is between a rock and a hard place. And that's where this film ends. <laughs> leaving you a big cliffhanger for like, oh, what's Lelouch going to do next? Because 
it's going to be a hard, troubling time, especially because that mech is like the highest of tech and all of his mechs are like kind of older generations. So she, Lelouch is going to have to come up with a good plan to finish off Suzaku or at least sideline him and out of the way. So this compilation movie is, is, is great. It's like the anime because it's covering the same stuff. It's got a few added bits here and there with updated animation. You can tell when they include them because it's a lot cleaner because I think the original anime came out in 2005. So it's bits are a lot cleaner and more pristine, <laughs> if you want to say it like that. But yeah, um, it's just as good, the animation and the story. It's, if you enjoyed the anime, you're going to enjoy this anime film because it's the same stuff, but just with a, a more of a um, more of an upbeat pace, if you want to say it like that. The characters are complex and are interesting. Like Lelouch's story and plan is so riveting to watch. And it's just, you want to root for him, but you hate him at the same time because he, he's so evil sometimes. But you want him to destroy this Britannic Empire, who are shown to be evil. Some of the people are really racist towards the Japanese people as well. And it's like, they're not nice at all, but they're just ordinary people at the end of the day. They're just, they've been brainwashed by the king. So they're just normal people that are misled. But Lelouch isn't the the knight in shining armour that everyone thinks he is because he's trying to use the terrorist Japanese group to his advantage to take control of the Britannian Empire and destroy them. So no one's good in this situation. They're all in this grey area of like, oh, I'm doing it for me or for my reasons. And they all think they're the good guys. But they're not always the good guys. It's all this grey area of, oh this person's bad because this, and this person's bad because that, but no, it's not cut and clear like that. CC and the Gios powers are awesome. CC's always been a really cool character because they never actually go straight into depth about her and her backstory. You get flashbacks and you get little scenes of, oh yeah, this is related to this, and the Gios is such a cool power as well. Like, Lelouch, he basically, in the early part of the film, he uses his power, but doesn't know the full limits of it, so during the film, he starts testing the limits, like, how long does it work? How often can I use it? Can I use it on a person multiple times? So it's cool to see him testing out his limits and learning the best way to use these powers. Lelouch's goals are also really cool because he was wronged. His mother was killed and it was most likely someone, possibly his father or one of his siblings, set it up to happen. And he is not having any of that. He is going to destroy anything companion. He will not rest until it's all been destroyed and his sister Natalie can live in peace and happiness. And not, and not always have to look over their backs to see if they're going to be killed next. There's some new scenes with the cleaner animation, like I said. They're not too extensive. They just kind of, obviously because the pace is a lot higher, they, they're used to stitch the plot together and make it more seamless. So it's a good way to make the film run a lot better when they have to compound all of this stored information into such a short period of time compared to multiple hours of multiple episodes. One thing I did like was there, <laughs> there is a lot less of the school filler. So even though some of the school stuff can be interesting, not great for the overall story because it doesn't really involve anything it's just kind of these happy moments that are happening in Lelouch's life but other than that it's not really necessary for the wider story so it was kind of cool that they cut back on a lot of that there is a few scenes because obviously they need to include it but it's good that they've got rid of a load of the um, um, filler and padding around the sides unfortunately though, they had to cut a lot of the story there's a couple of moments where there's obviously one moment when they do the montage of stuff they're doing and when they, when the, I think it's the JLF attack a tower and Lelouch basically sacrifices them to make them look like the bad people, that they had to cut that that whole section of the story into like just a montage and it was over in like 30 seconds, which was kind of a bummer. But for the overall story, it makes sense because it's not a vital point in it, but it was still a bummer they had to cut it. And there was also the cut up of a lot of the stuff in the middle of the film where a lot of the story isn't completely necessary, so they basically just cut and stick together some of the most important parts of it so and it's kind of jarring because it's like jumping here and there for different things and it's like oh that was kind of weird i wish i'd just maybe smooth it out a bit or not even included it at all and just jump to the next big fight for lelouch or Z zero and the uh the knights but yeah overall i think it's a really good way to compound all of the episodes into one film the pace was really it was paced out really well so I think they did a good job overall. And if you did like the series, I do recommend watching this film, especially the trilogy as a whole, because I feel it will fit better all together. But yeah, that's my thoughts on it overall. If you did like the episode, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to keep up to date with all future uploads. And until next time, I will see you all later.